Hi, everybody. Here we are again with our yearly uh, prediction show with Deborah Rose, the astrologer. We are um, really excited because we'd like to see what she has to say about 2017. So without further ado, and uh, you won't be hearing much from me, maybe a little bit here and there, but not much because Deborah's got a lot to say. So Deborah, take it away. Hey, Chris, thank you. Thank you for having me back. A Hi, everybody. Always a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. It's good seeing you all back again. And thank you for your emails and your contacts. And I will try to give you all everything you need. So without further ado, we're going to get started. I did try to even out all of the predictions for all of the people so everybody gets equal time. <clears throat> so we're going to start with uh, Venus retrograde this year. You know, Venus makes a backward motion once every two years. And this year, between March 4th and April 15th, Venus takes her turn moving backwards. Venus is beauty, we know that, but it's also what we value and how we value life and people and ourselves and our health and our things. So no plastic surgery, no major financial decisions, no large purchases, uh, example, cars, homes, big travel. Be careful about moving your investments until after the uh, April 15th tax day. It's kind of funny. It is an excellent time to review your work your money, your investments, your health care, your beauty, your sense of self, and your love life. Ver Mercury retrograde, we hear so much about this, and I'm so happy to see all of you are using the Mercury retrograde tables. Here we go. When Mercury goes backwards, communication snafus, scheduling difficulties, uh, misunderstandings, miscommunications, do not buy anything over $500 with moving parts. No electronics, no cars, no cameras. <clears throat> Even uh, if you buy a fur coat, it, it would not be a good purchase. I wouldn't do that either anyway. I know. I had somebody call me and said I bought a fur during a Merc Retro. I said, well, there you go. There's your lesson. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so January 1st through 8th, kind of happy New Year's Day there. April 9th to May 3rd, August 11th through September 5th, December 3rd through the 23rd. So, uh, for example, you can, um, you're free, let's say after January uh, 8th, so on the 9th you're free, but Mercury wobbles a little bit, and sometimes it takes uh, uh, up to two or three weeks for the Mercury to actually clear. It doesn't mean you have to wait all those three weeks. But the longer you wait after the period, the better. There's also a pre-period where um, about 14 days before the retrograde, you start to see things go a little bit screwy. So I'm glad you're noticing that. And um, at least for Christmas, we'll be out of the retrograde in 2017. All right, so here we go. We're going to start out with Aries. Um, change is the watchword, Aries, for 2017. The planet Uranus has been helping you reinvent yourself for a few years now. Life is meant to grow and change. Freedom, renewal, of course within the respectful confines of rules and regulations. Um, and some of you areas are just driving yourself crazy. Kind of let go and let flow. Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, still sits in your solar seventh house until October 10th of 2017. All partnerships, business, and love are subject to change and good fortune. We're making life more meaning through, more meaningful rather, through the, through the planet Jupiter. In October of 2017, Jupiter will be moving into Scorpio, bringing good fortune to marriages and business partners. Their incomes will increase, promotion, prosperity, position, that could come to your partners, either business or marriage. Dealings with inheritances, taxes, insurances come to the fore during that period also. Personal transformation, interest in health are highlighted. Good medical checkups followed up with alternative medicine will bring the best result. As 2017 comes to a close, we need you fit, healthy, 
and happy because after that, towards the end of the year and through 2018, career becomes a focus. Hard work, serious choices lead us into 2018. You'll feel this in October. Be healthy and let's not focus just on money. Right now, focus on what makes you happy because as you go towards the end of the year, all else will fall into place. Taurus for 2017. Over the past few years, Uranus has also been asking you the fixed sign and very fixed Taurus to change, to let go. Release yourself from people, situations and places that have been holding you back, causing you pain, unhappiness, inflaming your own insecurities. A little self-interest, tweak your diet, get back to exercise, what are you attached to that no longer works for you? What holds you back? It seems much of 2016 had been focused on hard work, making money, and being of service to others, maybe building businesses. Now let's take a little time for you. Around the lunar eclipse on February 10th, the influence around your home will increase. Some of you may have been improving, building, or moving. Some of you may, around that time, finally finish the task uh, of fixing the home and making it comfortable. Also, around that time, there are two eclipses, February 10th, 11th, and then again around February 21st. It's possible that you have a big blow up or drama in the home. This has been building probably for two or three years. If you've been feeling isolated and neglected, the solar eclipse on February 26th will push you out with like-minded people. By the August eclipse of 7 and 21, you'll be mingling with like-minded people who appreciate who you are. Allow change because you, you are inspired to grow spiritually. Take time for reading, practicing, and learning. Your children are doing well and growing it's a wonderful time for counseling and tutoring, though. All of the changes and difficulties at home, although they look like they're doing well, also can have an effect on the children. <coughs> Self-learning is always highlighted throughout the year. After October 11th, new love or renewal, self-improvement and education come to the fore. Some Tauruses will find siblings moving and changing. Many Tauruses will contemplate divorce, spouses, money problems, hidden affairs may be uncovered and looked at or analyzed in 2017. Let's go on to Gemini. Saturn in Sagittarius, Gemini still opposes you through December 19th, 2017. For early Geminis, life will become a little bit easier, those Geminis born in May. Until October 10th, Jupiter will still sit in your solar fifth house of creativity, fun, children, and love. Many of your children will come into some good luck this year, and you may discover childhood patterns, loves, hobbies, crafts that you've left behind. For all of the difficulties and hardships over the past two years, this planet's now going to allow you to use its energies to heal. Relationships have been tested. Many of you have experienced losses, endings, or death. Spirituality, inner strength, and the meaning of life for you is to be explored. <clears throat> Find peace and healing in family, home, emotional wellness, intellectual stimulation, writing, and socializing. Saturn and Neptune still ask you to keep improving your health. Lungs, bones, and liver care are highlighted this year. Money can increase, but happiness, status, rewards are still very important and will come towards the middle and end of the year. Many Geminis are still healing from loss of loved ones that have begun, let's see, it was around 2014, 2015, and 2016. 2018 and 2019 will bring renewal, healing, 
love, and opportunity again. It's time to find peace, connect to the universe, and positive thinking, thought, faith, spirit, religion, whatever you need, will speed up your healing process and increase your opportunities throughout 2017 and the next three years after. So it's a very positive um, uh, grouping of years that are coming to you in the future, Gemini. Hang tight, December 19th, Saturn finally leaves your opposing sign of Sagittarius. Cancer, Pluto in Capricorn has been opposing your sign for so many years, demanding change, and it's slow. Pluto is the slowest planet in the zodiac. Wonderful. What could change? <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. So you say, what could change now? You've been having issues with home, family, career, love, and marriage. The two big angles in your solar chart. You crave a deep emotional connection through your career, in your finances, and in your home life. This year, a secure home life, even if it's with yourself, is important. Many cancers will buy a home this year or invest in their home. And you just did that. That was perfect. I've been doing it, and after the holidays, I will do some more. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Invest in higher education, spiritual learning, and your health. Work, job, and career has been on the forefront probably since these emotional wounds. You're going to coast a little bit this year. Why? Because you're going to put time into yourself. The more you learn, the stronger you become, and then the more you will give to your career beginning in October 2017. So many of you are good, but we're ready to take the ne next step forward. Do that by investing and learning for yourself. The trend of rewards will continue during the second half of 2017, as I just said. Invest in yourself. Balance life with fun, family, friends, hobbies, things that you love. If you love pets, get a pets. If you love ice skating, go back to it. If you're a writer, start writing again. The beginning of changing the health habits, well, that has been going on slowly for two years, but this increases greater energy, greater opportunity. It's a year for learning, traveling, and I want you to remember that food is medicine. You will begin to see more and more of this this year. As our country changes, the pharmaceutical companies will try to gather our attention, but natural medicine will come to the fore. Cancer rules the stomach and food, and this is why it's important to you. Your children should be doing well this year. Pregnancies highlighted, good opportunities for work, new people in their life, sharing and love. Don't be afraid to cleanse negative people from your life. Mm -hmm. Cancer is so emotional that it's so hard for you to let go. But I think you're going to see this year that it's finally time that you must. The eclipses in February um, and also in August will highlight home, family, and finances. Better jobs, more money, and status will be here by year's end. Comfort in your home is so important. You're ready when you enjoy your home, rest at home, read, invest in yourself, and get ready for that big career push that comes through the end of 2017 from September on and moves right through 2018. Financial dealings are important. Resolving issues from the past will be a big part of 2017. Is it taxes? Is it inheritance? Is it a divorce? Is it a settlement of some sort? Whatever it is, this year might be your opportunity to settle it once and for all. It's time for you to increase your faith. Watch your reactions to life. Allow your being to be rooted in some type of belief or faith that there's something higher and stronger than you to hold on to. There'll be an interest this year in health, 
healing, and health professionals. If you're spiritual, it will grow into spiritual health, mind, body, and spirit. Here's your challenge, Cancer. Many of you have so much information in your head. Now, put it to practice in your life. Not easy, but I know you can do it. Cancers feel their way through life. They intuit, they know. It's time to go deep inside the self and know. Good friends will come in to help you along the way. They will increase your belief in your higher self. Okay, we're going on to Leo. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, pretty good for you, huh? Hmm. Leo, you're going to be feeling the eclipses in 2017 big time. Why? Because they happen in Leo and in Aquarius, your opposing sign. So expect 2017 to be a year of change and growth. You will continue learning, studying, and reaching for the stars. Increases in income, children, family, opportunity, all part of the 2017 energies. Being a fixed sign, you must learn to let life flow. Faith and spirit must become strong. Stop trying to control everything. You can't control, and this year, you're going to learn that lesson. Mm. Many Leos will step into the spotlight. Family becomes a priority. You may build businesses. You may buy houses. You may create home-based businesses. Travel can be spectacular this year. Many Leos will meet their loves in foreign lands or on some type of a vacation. It's time to take care of health. Being a fire sign, you burn the candle at both ends quite well, and you tend to neglect the warning signs of health. Some Leos may have surgery this year. Some will need to learn about heart health, diet detox, and exercise. So many Leos have had family problems over the past five years or so. That trend is healing now. Life gets easier. Take time for you. Indulge in some creative endeavors. Some Leos will begin important writing projects this year. Bigger financial increases. All of these things are headed toward you by October of 2017. Good new beginnings between October 2017 and March 2018. Many Leos who fall in love may decide to marry this year. August will bring those discussions. Although some Leos will marry teachers and mentors or people they can trust and grow with, other Leos will want to be the lion and take care of those in their den. Virgo. The big planet Jupiter has been in your money house since September of 2016. Money, making money, expanding your career until October 11th come to the foreground. Find your worth. This has been a source of pleasure for you. October 11th forward puts emphasis on longer term goals, career and effective communication. Be conservative in love and money. March 4th through April 15th, when Venus goes retrograde, you may have to rethink and look back at maybe some choices you made in love and money. Some of them may not have been the best. A desire to spend money on beautifying either the self or the home is still present. It's running through 2016 from September on and will run through most of 2017. Besides money, there will be a very strong emphasis beginning in December, which is where we're taping this show of 2016, right through all of early 2018. You must build a strong foundation, attention to children, spouses, family responsibility. If you've been neglecting this, it's time to go back. The solar eclipse on February 26th will test the bonds of marriage, home, and family. 
Some Virgos have been experimenting in love, affairs, and sexuality. Be careful in health if these energies have been hidden. You can expect that to change. Your secrets may be revealed to those, maybe few, who don't know yet about what has been going on in your life. <clears throat> if you've been trying to keep it from your children or elderly parents, uh, you may have blow-ups with secret affairs or experimentation in life, especially if you're committed or married. Health is good with an opportunity for learning and improvement. Make sure to stretch the lower extremities. There's an emphasis on spirituality. Goodness, honesty, and karma blend this year. Manipulation will break scandal to your life. Your social life or love life could get a me little bit messy in 2017. Go back and think about the commitments you made. And whatever you've learned over the past two years, it's time to think a little, grow a little, and maybe repent a little. Libra, with Jupiter in your sign since September 16th, Long-held hopes are finally coming together. What has held you back is being released by October of 2017. Money will begin to improve greatly for you. Discipline your mind. Organize your thoughts. Home improvements, major moves, and new life in 2017 and 18 have been inspired by the Jupiter in your sign over this past year. Uranus has been sitting in your seventh house of love and partnership since 2011. That's business and marriage, by the way. Many Libras have divorced or lost partners. For those of you that have stayed together, renewal is a watchword for 2017. Your life will completely stabilize even if there is a major upheaval, move, change, or new life in some way by early 2019. So be patient with these changes. Your health looks like it has improved since 2011, but in December of 2017, Saturn will let you know once again that you must pay attention towards improving your health. We must look ahead to new life and new opportunities. In 2017, you'll be allowed to be free of your past and Recreate yourself. It's time to reinvent. Let go of what you've created. Don't worry about mistakes. You see this Libra energy repenting terribly over what choices they may have made in the past. That does you no good. Let go and use your energy to create anew in the future. Take time to find out who you have become and who you want to be. Counseling and self-knowledge would be wonderful. A great investment in yourself this year. Watch your spending the second half of the year. A desire to spend on home and travel is high. Your children will grow and flourish this year. Weddings and new marriage or marriages would be best to wait until 2018 or 19 but friendship is rewarding and stimulating this year. We hope that you increase or become interested in mind-body medicine. This will help you improve your health, your happiness, and help you increase the forgiveness in your life. Scorpio. Well, Scorpio is interesting to me this year because Jupiter will be moving into Scorpio. It's in Libra right now. And the past two years have been difficult for them in partnership, in career, in money, income, peace of mind for self and loved ones. The health of your loved ones, your family, your friends could have been very challenging, Scorpio, in 2016. 2017 sees a settling and a freeing of restrictions. Money, investment, resources continue to improve throughout the year. Many years of prosperity do lie ahead. And I say this because in the solar chart, you can see Scorpio worrying about losses due to partnerships. Many of you have had to give great big alimony checks out, uh, have had difficulties in partnerships, business losses. 
Uh, but once you get this together, the year 2017 is a year of stabilizing and renewal. By October of 2017, you'll see a wonderfully open, clear path. The past six years, worth work, diet, health, routine have been restructured for your benefit. Hopefully you listened and are better off for it now. A thought for 2017. What is wealth, worth, or money if there is no love, family, or friendship to share it with? Watch your children and grandchildren for substance abuse and behavioral issues. Speak to them of the quality of the soul. Speak to them of spirit, faith, and confidence in their abilities. Remind them that education is not just developing the intellect, but also the spirit and the emotional intelligence also. Health looks good. Um, let's give a little extra attention to colon, kidney, and sexual organs. Chiropractic energies and massage, stretching are highlighted. A new you can be felt when Jupiter moves into the, your, your sun sign on October 11th, 2017. Get ready for an exciting end of 2017 and a great 2018 ahead. Your intuition or ESP will become very strong. And know this, sometimes Jupiter makes you let go in order for some negative energy to be replaced by positive. Sagittarius for 2017. Poor Sag, you've had Saturn in your sign. Saturn takes away, Saturn, Father Time, the great taskmaker, so you get the idea. It's been in your sign for two years, and it will continue to stay until December 19th, 2017. Saturn's been your partner and will continue to be your partner. Here's the good thing. Neptune has been square Saturn. Neptune is blinding, confusing, but thank goodness sanity will be restored. This year we begin to have a clearer vision. We've moved out of that Neptune square. Our hopes and dreams are being transformed and restored. New goals are on the horizon. A more authentic and meaningful life is on the way for you. You're getting stronger, healthier, much more creative. Speaking of health, many Sagittarians will reinvent themselves this year physically, mentally, spiritually. Close family and relationships are becoming elevated, spiritualized. I'm gonna give you some health times to watch wherever Saturn sits, whatever sign, health is always emphasized and challenged. So Sagittarius until December 2017. Watch these health times, February 19th through March 20th, April 20th through June 21st, August 22nd through September 22nd. This is a time to improve and guard the health. Kidney, liver, immune system, weight, and heart should be checked and worked on. Home becomes important from February on. Many Sages have just purchased or are renovating and decorating their homes throughout 2017. Family tensions are present in the home and will stay that way until October 2017. Life calms down after that. Many Sages, <clears throat> their relationships will stay status quo, but their friendships will really grow and increase. So your love life may stay the same because I believe if you were to leave someone, you would have left them already. This is December six, uh, 2016, and by the time you see it, it will be January or February 2017. New, happy, like-minded friends and friendships are formed around mutual passions. Love and romance will increase in 2018. Many Sag parents will find their children getting engaged, married, or pregnant. And remember something, Sagittarius, since you are the spiritual um, arrow pointing towards the heavens. We cannot access spiritual supply with intellectual knowledge only. And that's for all of the signs, actually. Capricorn. Capricorn, you're natural achievers and planners. 
you have a strong desire for achievement, success. Since 2008, Capricorn has been building, losing, tearing down, rebuilding, reconstructing. This is in an effort to learn about themselves and to form a deeper connection with their inner world. For older Capricorns, you will have a deeper meaning of life. Cappies come into this world wanting money, status, power, and control. Older Capricorns, again, and I'm going to relate back to the relaxation, the power structures are changing. Older Cappies see it may not be about money. It may not bring happiness. Power may not be absolute. Your word may no longer be God. And the reason is not to harm you, but to throw you inside to the true power of the universe. There is a spiritual power bigger and deeper than yourself, and this is one of your lessons for the year. But this year, with that wisdom and that learning, we reach out for success again. Not just material, but with a feeling for philosophy, religion, travel, personal transformation. Many health issues popped up in 2016. You should begin to improve now. Check your heart, bones, and teeth this year. Exercise your lungs and watch your circulatory system. Home may be a work in progress. Real estate dealings, new homes, and reorganizing are highlighted. Many Capricorns will build their own home-based businesses or move into new business opportunities. Money and career throughout the year will be on the increase. There may be some friendly or romantic interests in mentor types or spiritual people, and that certainly could help the Earth-based Capricorns move forward this year. Aquarius, well, let us make peace with the past, Aquarius. It's time to care for and love the self in order to make use of the gifts of the present. New life, wisdom, friends, neighborhoods, opportunities, all of these things are part of your karmic destiny this year. Treat everyone, including yourself, with love and kindness. Emotional freedom is the key to letting go of the past. Aquarius has a very hard time at looking at the shadow, looking at their anger, their pain, especially towards others. They're the natural humanitarians of the zodiac. But it's time to take a look and be okay with whatever you see in order to heal it. It's also time to lo learn, grow, and broaden your vision for yourself. Hold on to the good that's coming. Don't hold on to the pain of the past. Spiritual friends are important for you this year. They kick you forward when you want to dig your heels in. Your house of money is on the increase. Travel, intellectual, and spiritual pursuits become important. It's a time to spend money on health and energy. The pace of life will pick up. Good opportunity for work comes to you. Digestion and food may become a focus April 20th to May 20th, July 23rd to October 23rd, and around the time of November 21st. Your digestive system is related to the amount of stress that you allow in your life and your ability and the speed in which you can let the past go. Start health improvement plans around the sign of Sagittarius, November 22nd, 2017, if you had not started it by February of 2017. No changes at home, please, between March 4th and April 15th. No changes at home during this time. Venus will be ruling that sector, and she'll be backwards at that time. March 10th to April 4th. That's very good, though, for home repairs. By the end of the year, with the help of the eclipses, February 11th, 26th, August 7th, and 21st, finances, money, love 
will be positive themes beginning October 2017 through 2018. In other words, you need those eclipses to hit your life, awaken you, create the changes so that you are free to move forward October 2017 and love and increase in happiness through 2018. Pisces, oh, the square to Saturn has been making Pisces feel as if he has or she has been slowly coming apart. Many financial burdens, home and family, the pressure builds and the health is stressed. It may be time to reach out to others to gain a better perspective of what's been going on in your life. Many of you have lost your way. It's time, and here's a key, time to take responsibility for your life and your choices. And that will help you regain your home, your family, and your financial status. This will give some of you the opportunity for freedom and adventure. It is what you're craving, but you've been having a little bit too much of that over the past two years. If love or love affairs have consumed you for the past two years, if hobbies had been more important than work, if social had been more important than family, then this is your year to wake up. With Jupiter in your eighth house, it's time for a personal transformation. Discipline in taking stock of your life because of your choices while the time is now. Time to increase your earning capacity and focus on your talents and finances. How do you pull it together this year? Health, finance, responsibility to family? It's possible some of you go through a relationship crisis with a spouse or children. Deep hidden psychological changes may begin to surface and need attention. Your health will need attention. The heart, any addictive issues, blood pressure, cholesterol, and stiffness or tightness in the lower extremities may come up. If you're a male Pisces, there may have been problems, surgery, or near-death experiences with your father or males in your family. If you're a woman, the same may have happened with your mother or females in family. Some of your children this year may marry or move. It's time to pull it together, take responsibility, Pisces, and then 2017 will be a year of growth, possibility, an opportunity. Now, everybody got equal time? Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. And we, we got time to spare. I know, we have time to spare. How'd that happen? <laughs> well, you had asked for some um, information about the country. Yes, and that's and, exactly what I'm looking forward right. to talking about. And so I made a little time for that. Now, <laughs> um, I do love to hear from all of you. I gave you some dates for the eclipses and the retrogrades that you use, some of the ingresses. I did focus on love and money a lot. I also focused on health. In my emails, those are the three that come. You That's get it. a lot of love and money. Right. So let's see um, this year if this timing is better for all of you. Let's hear if you like this or if you want more of something, and I will try to do that. And for those of you who did question about who was going to win the election, we didn't tape in time to do that. Right. Although we tried. And uh, pardon me, I, I have a cold this year, so I may sound a little bit different, and I'm a bit slower, just so that you can hear me. Um, but well, obviously, Trump won the election. And we I would like to say, <clears throat> congratulations, Mr. Trump. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I really feel that our country has some hope. Because it would not have had any hope if anything else would have happened. 20 plus more years of the Clintons. Oh, God. So perish the thought. Perish the thought. So in November, when we were supposed to tape before I wound up with the flu, um, you asked who would win the election. Yeah. And I had put together some interesting teasers for people. Come closer. One of the, one of the um, uh, Mars aspects in Aquarius that happened early November before the election was that a rebel would come to the fore. 
and would come in and create change. And that Mars passage Maybe went the right, right kind over. of change this yes. time, I, we hope. Well, yes. You went, know, just don't hang on to the word change. <laughs> right. It went right over the election. So the November Mars aspects did show someone new coming into the fore. Here's something interesting. The past eight years when Obama was elected, when we looked at the charts, one of the things that was said about the country was a man would come in to weaken the structure of the country well, in order for change to happen. Whoa. Now, the fact that he was elected twice was surprising. But, Very. But so the structures almost crumbled, no longer supported the people. Right. And one of the, the, the dreams that I had had, uh, again, I'm an astrologer, but I'm also a medium and a psychic, for the people, by the people. Remember the Constitution? Of course. For How could the we people, that? For the people and by the people had been coming to me for the past two months, uh, maybe since September. And my thinking in that, at that time, although you remember we were all listening to the media and media was touting the Clintons. Yeah, right. But at the time, I thought, how can it be for the people and by the people if we're going to keep the same structures? That's right. And um, power, growth, um, a certain amount of dominance, commerce, business. Uh, th these are all sort of that Republican kind of feeling. And that could only happen with, with Trump now. Right, right. With, with the other one, uh, we would have gone straight down the tubes. And I had been saying for many years in a lot of the shows or lectures I had done is we need a businessman to put the country together. That's right, somebody who knows what they're doing. So, uh, and here we have the businessman. Now, many people will say he's offensive and he's negative and some the Clintons are that way. Yes, he's not he can. Perfect. He has and a sad rising. We don't expect him to be perfect. Okay, right. he's going to put his foot in his mouth in the future, and we're going to all say, "Oh, there he goes again." But he's going to do a, a he's gonna lot create of good. change, a lot of good. Mm -hmm. Anyone with Sagittarius in their chart is going to speak the truth. Oh, do At, I have any Sagittarius in my <laughs> <laughs> It may seem callous, but what they are trying to do is not harm you, but is to get the truth across. Mm -hmm. And they do tend to be a bit shocking at times. And that, that is what we will be hearing. So hang on to your hats, those of you that are sensitive. But here, here are uh, some of the things that will and must change. Obamacare. It Health is going to change. Care. He's only keeping a few things in Obamacare. Everything else is going to go out the window where it belongs. Good. Um, big Pharma, which has been given so much power. You know, m I'm involved in health also, and many people don't um, know what's been going on the past four years. I'll give you an example, and this is quite frightening. So um, I tend to go towards not pharmaceutical health, but natural health. And I would purchase from um, companies medical grade food. In other words, my protein shakes and some of my vitamins and supplements would come from there. And there were uh, supplements inside these formulas like IgG, which is a, a, f a particle that will I increase your immune system. Big Pharma went to a company that I can't name, bought out the entire stock in the United States Oh. and is now using it, the IgG, for their own pharmaceuticals. For instance, you will find that substance in something called Nulasta. Anything that increases um, your immune system after chemotherapy or... So they are using what we had for our health in our protein shakes and f uh, vitamin formulas. They bought the entire stock in the United States. Not available here. You've got to go to Canada or Europe to get it. Whoa. And... Um, and they're using it. Now, we have found another form of it in certain proteins, thank goodness, but um, they have reformulated some wonderful health products. There was a product called GI Reset that really healed the gut lining and what they're calling leaky gut. Hmm. Big Pharma yeah, bought it out. That, 
Big Pharma bought it out. Why did that happen? Because our plants and our vegetables have been so chemically treated. We're all getting holes in our lining, holes in our digestive system. Do you think system. that's all going to change now? I certainly hope so, and I'm saying it to bring it out in public. People don't know about this unless you're a healthcare practitioner. Right. Yeah. So I'm putting it out there because those of you, if you've been going to Whole Food and buying a formula and you haven't felt quite right over the past year and a half, that's why. Oh. So it's time for fi to fight for our ability to be healthy again. Well, that's right. That's right. That's one thing. That's right. Number two, and this apparently has been in the news over the past couple of days, um, the environment, uh, the ozone layer, uh, the quality of our soil, of our food, um, uh, the, the Earth's balance, honoring the Earth, the animals, the food, the planet that we live on, that has to change. Do you think this all went downhill over the last eight years? Oh, yes. And that, that now that Trump is, going, is taking over, it might improve? I certainly hope so. I think he needs help there. Uh, he needs a lot of help in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. That's why he's got uh, advisors. Right. So I know a passionate man there had been Al Gore for the environment, and there have been a few other explorers, scientists, researchers that are sort of mingling in the background of Washington, <coughs> trying to bring through the truth, the scientists trying to bring through the truth of the changes that have happened in our planet. The interesting thing is that it's not just the Earth scientists, the geoscientists, but also those that are involved in physics and space. So you're saying that politics and the government and all that have something to do with all of these negative changes that have come about, particularly in the last eight years. So now are you predicting that it's going to be better? It'll be revealed and therefore become okay. better. Okay, that's good. Did you see that Scorpio where and uh, Scorpio, Virgo, um, Pisces, secrets to be revealed? All of those angles will hit certain points in the United States chart and will be revealed. Well, that's good. So now, in other words, we can expect things that we didn't even know about to be revealed and then start seeing some positive changes in these revelations. Yes, and as he said, change will take time because oh, sure. he will work where he does best, and that would be in business and finance and things oh, sure. like he's that. He's going to create jobs. He's going he's to bring us to prosperity, which is the most important thing he could do for us right now. Mm -hmm. Rebalance the books and, right. and create for the people, by the people. That's right. Everybody, so many people are, I can't say everybody, so many people are worried about what will he do to the gays? What will he do to the Mexicans? He's not going to do anything to anybody. I don't believe he will. Um, he, he may doesn't want people to not be here because he knows what a great country we are, and he knows that there are people who desire to be here. He's trying to get the criminal element not to come here. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I believe um, gays, lesbian, um, uh, transgender will keep their rights. I'm sure. If they reformulate the name of certain institutions, unions, marriages, things like that, as long as they have equal rights. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Right. And they're treated uh, you know, as, as, as equal, as, as equal and too. human. And if you wear purple and I wear pink, there should be no change. And there's a spiritual happening here. Now, Pluto had been going through Sagittarius for quite a number of years, and that had revealed the, the discrepancies in religion and churches and some of the pedophile issues. And now, building and rebuilding a new spiritual unity where we have oneness, no color, no gender. That's right. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yes, because oneness. Because this president that we have now is the one that put the wedge between the blacks and whites and everybody else. He's the one that put the wedge there. And it shouldn't be because we should. I mean, I don't see. I don't see color when I deal with other people. I see personality. I see character. But I don't see color. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it shouldn't be. God made us all all equal. That's true. That's it. Nobody's better than anybody. Mm -hmm. And if if any of you had um, had experiences, spiritual experiences, reincarnation experiences, we all change. We. We take on different bodies. We take on different colors. We take on different religions. That's right. So it's it's all about humanity and not just humanity, but honor the animals, honor the earth. That's right. That's right. Because then, 
Yeah, and, 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 and in, in the previous show, I talked about karma, okay? And when you honor other people and the animals and the earth, you make good karma for yourself, mm -hmm. you know? And you can expect that your life will be good. And you bring balance where there has been imbalance. That's right, yes, that's right. You know, there's a, for so many years, I had gone out to Arizona and studied with the Native Americans, and we believe that we are the most intelligent species. And when you ask them and you are embraced into their, their four, their, their homes, their philosophies, I had asked one of the shamans, how did you learn what plants to eat out here in Arizona? What teas to make? What to take for stomach? What to take for a cold? And he said, we watch the animals. Mm -hmm. And we, the, so the animals are the brilliance and the wisdom of the universe. Right. So, Just uh, because we can speak <coughs> doesn't make us any better. Mm, and it's interesting. Being a medium and an animal communicator, they speak too. But we must hear. That's right. We must learn. That's right. I have a cat that tries to answer the phone. <laughs> She's beautiful. And, and when, a, when a number comes up that's not familiar, I usually don't answer it because there's a lot of scammers out there mm. and people trying to sell you something. So, uh, so she's running for the phone with them going, don't answer the phone. Oh, how cute. <laughs> cute <laughs> and so then let's go back to money and jobs and finance he has no patience mr trump has no patience and he is going to try and rebalance the budget and right what's wrong thing, and push. It, it is no patience might do us some good <laughs> but that no patience will have to be refined and i'm going to take the word refined and i'm going to just sort of spread it out through his reign there will be people around him who say your ideas are good but this th it has to be done this way he wants to throw the baby out with the bathwater. so what and don't worry about it because there are checks and balances in place and that's why i wanted to to say this um, there, he has Washington behind him and very learned and adaptable people that will recognize who he is within a very short period of time and say, all right, we will do this, but it will happen gently and slowly. So don't go up in arms, go out and protest at your local deli if he starts to say something. He will be tempered and wisdom and um, timing will come back into the fore. Uh, people because of the media, will begin to rebel when he starts to try and create change. You're not going to stop this man. And also, media, you have been in bed, let's say, with the big partnerships in Washington, money, corporate money. That's all going to go away now. That's going to change. Yes. You're going to see increase in private bloggers, in smaller papers, in opinions being shared. We're going to have tremendous increases in technology. More little doodads and gadgets and things for us to carry around. That increase in technology will expand and link us into the world, and that will create a new type of media that's in our hands. And because of that, media will no longer be the force behind the Americas. And oh, I find that'll be yeah, such a relief. I find that, that's going to be interesting. They think who they are. They're, and I think they're all, they're all probably crying in their beer now because they, couldn't, they didn't control it the way they thought they would. Mm. What they sold um, did not sell well. That's and right. I, I believe that was a, a major blow. And what's interesting, too, is how quiet the people became, how private they became, and then they ran out and voted for Trump. Uh-huh. I know everybody. I mean, this was really a surprise for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. A big surprise. Yeah. So um, uh, so the, for those techies, I get a lot of techies that email me. You know, when am I going to get my new phone? And when So uh, hang on to your hats, folks. Uh, Uranus is still in Aries. And I believe even though people say Steve Jobs is dead, what's going to happen? Well, Bill Gates is still alive. And there are other young and up-and-comers oh, sure. out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Course. And um, a lot of young people email me and they ask about career for the future. Um, all of the sciences are going to become very strong during this current administration. Um, engineering, chemical engineering, engineering having to do with the earth, with fuel, oil, energy. You know, the, the Clintons are very, very involved in energy deals. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's time for you to put yourself into school, maybe mathematics and sciences, engineering, 
uh, anything having to do with earth and earth products. Remember, the earth is going through renewal. And for those of you who do have the feeling for mathematics and science, those careers will be the up and coming careers with the biggest opportunities, promotions, money. And um, because of that too, some of the um, some of our educational institutions will change and will grow in those areas also. Uh, the world looking at America from the outside, well, they're going to be cautious. All of the powers outside are going to be very cautious with America now. And that's good. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be A laughing at us respect. very long either. Then, you know, they, they, with the other guy, they, they, they were laughing at us. They're not afraid of us. They're mocking us. And that's not going to happen anymore because I think that Trump is going to is going to get a lot more respect from the other countries in the world now. They're not going to be, and he's not going to go around apologizing for stuff either, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, though, this was a great show, and um, all of your insights are beautiful. Thank you. As usual. Thank you. And I do appreciate you coming in and, and, and giving us um, uh, your information that you work so hard to come up with, with your astrology. And um, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Christine. It's always my pleasure. And it's thank you, everybody. Yes. Take care.